Hey everybody, it's Robin with Creativity RV, and if you want to get more greens into your diet, even if you're living full-time on the road or you're in a tiny house, then I'm going to take you with me today while I make a new batch of microgreens. Here in the front of my overhead bunk, you can see that I've got some microgreens. I just watered these, so they're looking a little wimpy burger. But, you know, they give me a nice amount of green in front of this barrier. And then behind that, I have my whole garden. If you guys want to learn more about how I did all this, I've got two past videos on that. But you can see here I've got broccoli sprouts. And here I've got sunflower sprouts. And I'm going to take you guys with me while I do my new batch, which are going to be pea shoots. These are the microgreens that I have right now. This is a sunflower sprout. And if you guys are not familiar with microgreens, here's the deal. There are seeds and then there are sprouts and then there are microgreens and then there are plants in that order. So you know a lot of people eat sprouts. Well, these are just sprouts that have been allowed to grow more. So you don't have to grow them in a jar. You can actually grow them in some kind of a growing medium like compost. But if you want to be on the road and have some nutritious stuff to eat, microgreens might be a good way to go because these little guys have 10 to 40 times more nutrients than the plants that they grow into. So like this is a sunflower sprout. If you taste it, it tastes kind of like romaine with a sunflower taste to it. And they're super crisp. They're super crunchy. Look. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you guys hear that? It actually makes a little crunchy noise. They get super puffy and they're delicious. And I will just cut these and put them on top of potatoes. I'll put them in soup. I'll put them in a quesadilla. Um, I'll put them on hash browns in the morning. Uh, I'll put them in a stir fry. You know, just last minute, I'll just throw them in um, so that they've still got a little bit of a crunch. But these are sunflower sprouts. And these are actually broccoli sprouts. So this is broccoli, you guys. But you just put it in here really dense. These are about... A week old if you can believe it I actually was gonna show this to you guys when they were sprouting but they just exploded on me and they also taste these taste kind of like celery mixed with broccoli to me and I put these on a sandwich with some hummus you know just like as if they were a sprout because they have about that consistency but look at the bottom do you see these roots they love it in here and let's try not to kill these now these I should have harvested a long time ago, but you can see this side I've actually harvested. So every time I go to make a meal, I basically just take some scissors. You can see that I've already done some. I take some scissors and I just cut, you know, whatever amount I need. I actually, I'm going to eat these. I'll try and do it with one hand. So this is what you've got you can actually put on your dinner. And I don't know if you guys know this, but these go for a lot of money at farmer's markets. Um, and also at high-end restaurants and they are just delicious and they're so cute and they grow in like a week Here's the great thing about microgreens for an RV or a van This is about 10 days old. That's a week old And so I just keep rotating in fact what I'm gonna try today and I'm gonna take you guys with me Since I've really harvested half of this container and by the way, of course, the container and the growing medium and everything can be found in the link below at my Amazon store if you guys want to check it out. But I'm actually going to try and cut these in half. I'm going to remove the soil and everything from this. And then, out of popsicle sticks and foil paper, I gotta love a craft, I put a little separator. So I'm going to separate this out and try and grow some new greens right here so I can show you guys the process. The root structure on these things is so great that I literally just took a spatula and took that dirt out and then put my little foil separator in here. If this works, I am actually going to have four different types growing at all times. Um, I may have overpurchased seeds a little bit. I've got all kinds of seeds to make, but today, I'm going to make some more peas. I've already made peas before. This is a fresh pack. I only used half of it because I'm only going to use half of this container. But here's basically the process. You get your seed, whatever kind that is. I like this one. Um, I got like a five pack of different varieties just to try them all, and I love this pack. Um, they have really good instructions on the back. These instructions said that you need to soak them 
for 12 hours and so I did that. I used these reusable silicone containers that I love. So I just poured the seeds in there and they've been soaking and so now I'm going to go ahead and put them in the soil. I found a great product to grow my microgreens in. Again, I've only found this on Amazon. If I see it anywhere local, I'll let you guys know. But this is food grade compost. And I found this product where I think they come six in a box. So you get a box with six of these. And this expands to, I think, a quart of compost, which is a great material to mix in with your regular plants. But it also makes a great medium to grow your microgreens in. And because they come like this, you don't have to store a whole bunch of stuff. It came with its own bag. And what you do is you put this into the bag and you fill it with water. And then you have basically soil that you can grow your microgreens in. I'm going to show you guys while I do that right now. By the way, you really can't snap these in half. I've tried. You need like a saw to do it. They are very compact until you add water. I have to tell you guys, before this, I had a big freaking bucket from like Home Depot that I was carrying around with me to make compost. This is so much easier. So I hope you guys can see this. I just eyeball at this point how much water to put in. Um, I know pretty well at this point. That's about the right ratio. And in a second here, it's kind of fun. It's like a science experiment. You're going to see this thing just explode. It gets really, really big, and I'm going to help it really quick with my hands so that we can get on with our microgreen growing. So look how much of the coconut core this made. You guys, I think maybe I called this compost earlier, but now it's gone, so I can't redo that shot. But this is coconut core. If I called it the wrong thing, that's what came in that little container. The secret to this stuff is that you really want to break it up and make sure there are no lumps. But that little tiny puck made all of this. Now, I won't use all of this, but like I said, it's impossible to cut the puck up into a smaller size. So I'm just going to use what I want to make the microgreens, and then I'm going to leave the bag open and let it dry out in this form so it doesn't get moldy or anything, and then just use it again next time. It doesn't have to be perfect. What you don't want is you don't want them on top of each other. Although I did learn a really cool hack from somebody else on YouTube that I've tried before, but I'm not going to do it this time. You can put a layer, and then as soon as they start to sprout, put another layer in, and that way you'll get two harvests. You usually do not get two harvests out of most varieties of these when you just grow them with one layer of seeds. But that way, the second layer is not stopping the first layer from growing because it's already started growing. It's a pretty great tip. I've put out the peas in a pretty even layer as far as I can tell. They're not too bad on top of each other. So at this point you have two options. You can either put a blackout shade on this, which could be, I mean, a paper plate, whatever you have, right? Or you can put a thin layer of soil on top. That's what I usually do now. The reason is that when they're in this stage, you don't want to have them in direct light, so you're blocking the light. And then as soon as you see some little sprouts come up, then you take off that shade or they've poked through the soil and then you can put them in the sun. I don't want to have to worry about that, so I just put more soil over the top. Then I don't have to remove anything when I go to mist it, which is the next step. I've added a really thin layer of soil on top. And then all you do for about the first two or three days until you see them sprout is you mist it with water. This bottle actually came with that pack of compost and so did the bag. Gotta love that. But you just give it a nice mist twice a day. That's it. That's it. And then you watch them sprout and you cut them and you eat them and then you start again. Super easy. Anybody can do this. Microgreens are the best. They're cute. They're fun. They're delicious. They're easy to grow. So I hope you guys have been able to use this information. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my blog at creativityrv.com. I wish you all happy travels out there and be free.